everybody, this is Alvin Brown, CEO and founder of the Center for Healing and Peak Performance and Integrated Peak Performance Services. I'm also the author of Journey to Personal Greatness, Mind, Body, and Soul, a blueprint for life balance and self-mastery, available at all your major bookstores, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Amazon, and in Canada, Chapters Indigo Online. We're working on getting it into the stores. Okay, and also I created this Journey to Personal Greatness journal. It's uh, any journal will do, but this is something I give to one of my clients when they start with me because I'm a big believer in journaling, meditation, anything to w allow you to go deep and introspective and look at your life and investigate how you're doing, all the errors in your ways that you're making and how you can improve them. And if you're doing something great, how do you make that even better? And that's the only way I, I have attributed to a lot of my changes in my life because the path I was on wasn't getting me where I wanted to go. And I attributed a lot of it to to this, journaling, looking back, coaches have helped me, introspection, a lot of, I got so much journals from years, decades, over decades ago that I've done just to change my path because a lot of times when you're in it, you just can't see it. And that is the reason why I go back again, why we can help others. We're amazing at helping other people, but we can't seem to get out of our own way because we never stop to investigate what we're doing. So journal, not only do you journal, you go back and look and epiphanies and ideas start coming to you. So that's my rant on journaling, and I'm gonna keep at it because I wanna push this. All right, so this is Hump Day Hustle. This is the part of the week where I wanna focus, if, if you're just tuning in, here's the idea, Monday, it's Monday Mindset. I want to get your week started because in this world, time, really, time doesn't exist, but we've put time in our world. And so since we have time and we work by such today, time is our greatest asset. I want to start your week off Monday because typically in, in the industrial society, Monday is where we start our weeks and Friday we look forward to it and Saturday is the rest day. And so I'm going to go with that. Although I'd love to just get away from time. But anyways, here's the idea. Monday, hump day hustle. We start, Monday is Monday mindset. We start off with getting your, a checkup from the neck up, get your mind right, get you started. What do you want for the week? Because if you have great weeks, you're going to have great months. And if you have great months, you can have great years. And great years still lead to an amazing life. So let's get our mindset right on Monday. Wednesday, it's a great day to focus on the body, the temple, because it's hump day. And we're just going to roll into the next end of the week. But if you motivate yourself by taking care of the temple, it gets you not right. Again, keep that mindset going into the weekend, which is on Saturdays, super soulful Saturdays, where we nourish the soul. Can't have the mind and the body without nourishing the soul. And that is what my book is all about. It's my years of looking at health and wellness, but I want to look at it from an integrated whole. And again, so that's the name of my second service that I offer, Integrated Peak Performance Services. You know, all of that is, you can see the theme here. I love greatness, I love balance, and I love if we can drive hard and have it all. And that's my goal with giving you all of this. So, with all of that, this is Hump Day Hustle. This start, the series that we've been doing, we've been focusing on therapies. We looked at uh, acupuncture Chinese medicine, we looked at massage therapy, we looked at chiropractic last time. Today I'm going to look at something that a lot of you may not have heard of, some would. Some may have heard of it through different therapies, but it's applied kinesiology. And I've been using this since the 90s. I, my chiropractor that I work with introduced me to it. I fell in love with it. So I've been doing it for about 18, 20 years now, somewhere around there. And it's been an amazing addition to my package that I offer. It's a great way. And the thing about this, I'll tell you more about it in a second, but let's go through our key points. What is it? That's what we're gonna talk about. How can it serve you? And then the action steps, we're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna give you a little practical experiment on what you do with a friend or someone, and you can see how it works. All right, what is it? Applied kinesiology is just that application. It's kinesiology, the study of movement, but it's this one's through application of that study and the nervous system. It was created in 1964 by a George Goodhart. Dr. George Goodhart, he's a chiropractor from Michigan. And he created it and over those years. And he added it, he added things to it as he went along, just like everything else, osteopathy or whatever it is. The person created it and then other things got added in and over time, we have it now, we can use it. It's often though, the thing about applied kinesiology, 
it's often questioned or challenged because a lot of it a lot of times some people get a hold of it and they've been using it as ways of selling things and it hasn't been good it's they've been using it like charlatans to use it to sell things they put a vitamin on your stomach and they'll test you and the, the, you know the vitamin we we've, last time last time I saw this it was on ABC I think it was one of those reports where they they had a hidden camera and this practitioner was using it and he was deceiving the, his uh, his clients into buying more products or buying his service and he was testing the person and you know so there's some there's some validity to some of it but the problem is it's hard to test because there's so many variables that might throw it off your intention might throw it off your intention to deceive or to to put bad energy through your testing will throw it off um, your environment will throw it off structure will throw it off there's so many things so I when I use applied kinesiology I keep it pretty strict and I keep it pretty simple and straightforward I use it mostly to test the nervous system to see if something's going on in the breaker switch so remember the spine for me represents the breaker switch at your home a lot of things can be hooked up to the same breaker like for instance your microwave your toaster oven and your your stove can be hooked up to the same breaker and if one trips it trips the breaker you have to go downstairs and you have to click it and it goes back on everything works it's the same way I look at applied kinesiology I keep it that simple I don't get into any other fancy things I keep it where my clients can see if I if I work on that level of the spine look at how it affects your liver look at how it affects because so the liver it, it can affect also the muscles in the area that the liver comes out from i.e. your lower your mid trapezius the muscles in your back it can affect your pec it can affect this it can affect that and where the nerve comes from your diaphragm can affect the the neck pain that you're having because there's a connection between the diaphragm and C5 in the neck there's also many times food and emotional the way you feel affects your performance especially with athletes and you can really test somebody just having them think about the situation in a negative way and you can see how it affects them on a physical level and that's all applied kinesiology for me personally that's all it is it's it's about taking reality taking I want to show my whenever I get a client in or whatever my team and I get clients and I we we want to educate you on how intricate this human body is we <clears throat> we take it for granted many times how intricate the nervous system is and how instantaneous changes in for every cause there's an effect and a lot of times we 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 were so oblivious we we go through our daily activities and abuse our bodies in so many different ways and we don't take note of it and what causes and what effects it's having on us and i find applied kinesiology is a great way to show our clients instantly wow look at the change it made by just changing your posture by taking in this one product by adjusting this vertebrae by stretching this fascia by changing your, the way you function it changes instantaneously the way the muscle recruits and your performance level so for me applied kinesiology is just that you can look it up I, today I was googling it to give you some more see if I missed anything give you some more information on it and instantly quackwatch.com shows up and of course quackwatch will put anything down anything they can find to put down their will and there are a lot of detractors from this so this is the main reason quackwatch for me it serves a purpose it keeps me reminding me that not everybody's going to accept what you do and it's out there to keep us honest fair enough they can do it but like I said I love this therapy this addition to my toolbox because what it does it allows me to keep it straight and keep it simple no fancy stuff no they also have another testing they do called surrogate testing some people believe in that where they have a baby in the arm and the, you test the mother to see what's wrong with the baby see for me that's a little bit of a stretch but that's just me personally I keep it straightforward and logical I still keep my feet on the ground and remember why where I was when I first entered into this field 
I want to stay there and remember that you're coming from that place too and keep you on my side instead of pushing away all these fancy and put myself at another level and be mysterious. So apply kinesiology, you'll see it being done by chiropractors mostly, that's where I picked it up from, and other people have tied in, there's another thing called body, body talk, um, there, there's all kinds of different people who have thrown in AK, applied kinesiology, into their works and mix and match and played with it, but it's still the same thing, came from 1964, George Goodhart, Dr. George Goodhart, chiropractor, Michigan, that's where it came from, and, but you know, like anything else, there's no inf new information anywhere. There's, we just take other things and morph it into others. So that's applied kinesiology. Look it up, check it out. There's one experiment I want you to do. Get a partner, get a friend. And I want you to take some sugar, straight white sugar. And I want you to test that person. Now try your best not to push too hard or change the way you push, just push at a certain amount, not even sure how much to tell you to push because it's one of those things that you have to be there, but just push down enough to feel the tension in the person's muscles. Okay, so for instance, I'm gonna get you to get them to hold their arm out like this, straight in front, all right, straight in front, just like that. And then you're gonna have them to hold it. You're gonna push down on their hand and have them hold it. And they're gonna push back at you, right, with all they have, and you're not gonna push because you can obviously, your body weight can push them down. This is not the idea that you topple them over or you beat them. It's for you to test and see how their muscles recruit. Now what I want you to do is to take a teaspoon of sugar, put it on their tongue and just have them hold it and taste it. And just don't swallow it, just hold it, taste it, and then test them again. And you should, you should on the average person, see an instant weakening of the muscle. And overall, you can test any muscle on the body because a lot of people are adrenal, fatigued and sensitive and insufficient. So what the sugar does, it causes a rush of cortisol and adrenal and the body is attempting to mount an, uh, a defense against the sugar coming in. And you'll see an immediate effect on the body, an immediate change in what the muscle physiology. So check that out and see what you think. Play with it a little bit, and but instantaneously you will, you will see the difference. We're gonna put a link on the bottom for resources, that test. I'll put a link on for the test and also for applied kinesiology to check out the AK Foundation and to check it out and see what you think and ask your practitioner if they practice it. It's a great addition I find. Nothing, nothing by itself is number one, but I find if you put all the tools together, you have something magical. All right? So that was the P Performance Series. This is Hump Day Hustle. It's all about the body, keeping the body in shape and in in, in physical condition so you can get to the goal. There's no use having money, having blissed out when your body is falling apart. And so everything's all about connection. I offer coaching, free online uh, consultation. I do online coaching. Uh, if you want to check me out, check out my team. We have a team of people working towards mind, body, and soul. Visit our website, tchp.com, journeypersonalgreatness.com. Give us a call, connect with us. Any way I can help to help you be relentless about your pursuit for personal greatness. Let's go for it. Until Saturday, I'll see you in Soulful Saturday. Peace and have a great week.